Hi, I'm Jeanette Saltis, Managing Attorney with Atlanta Divorce Law Group, and I'll be discussing the mediation process in family law cases and what that looks like. Mediation is a really important step in family law cases, and I'd estimate that probably 85 to 90% of our cases end up settling in mediation. The way that mediation is set up is the attorneys on both sides will talk about their choices of mediator and we'll see if they can come to an agreement on who to use for a case. And this is important because some mediators are better for different types of cases. There are certain mediators that I prefer for a case that's about assets and numbers and, and dividing numbers or, or even a business. There are some mediators who are really strong at the custody cases. So it's important that your attorney chooses a strong mediator. Now, if the other party and their attorney will not agree to a mediator, then often the Alternative Dispute Resolution Office in the circuit that your case is pending will end up assigning a mediator to your case. Now, where mediation occurs, it can occur at your attorney's office, the other attorney's office, the mediator's office, on occasion at the courthouse, and some counties have their own ADR office where mediation can occur there as well. It's, it's an informal process, and usually you will be in a room, just you and your attorney, the other party and their attorney will be in a room, and the mediator will go back and forth. Something to expect is there's a lot of waiting time. So bring a laptop or a book or something to occupy your time because there will be times when the mediator is in the other room with the other party and they might spend an hour in there just talking through the last proposal that was made. Preparing for mediation is important. It's important that you have your financial affidavit accurately filled out, that by that point you have a handle on all of the assets, income, and that you've met with your attorney to define your goals and what you want to walk out with after mediation. It's really important to know your bottom line where if we can't get this as an agreement, then I'm willing to spend the money and the energy to go to court and let a judge decide. So before going to mediation, you'll have that conversation with your attorney to set those goals. If you end up settling in mediation, now know that it could take eight hours or even longer. There are times when in some complicated cases where there will be a multi-day mediation. The goal is to settle the case by the end of mediation. If that happens, what typically happens is one of the attorneys drafts up a memorandum of agreement, which is basically an outline of the settlement terms. On occasion, if there's time, it's possible to draft up the official formal settlement documents, but most of the time, there's not time left to do all of that, so we have the memorandum of agreement. The parties sign off on this memorandum of agreement, and then one of the attorneys, the next day or, or later at their office, will draft the formalized documents that again are executed by the parties, and that is what is submitted to the court. But know that if you get a mediated agreement that's just the memorandum of understanding, once you sign, that is enforceable. So you do have a final agreement. And if you can't get the formalized agreement tweaked between the attorneys, you're able to submit that initial memorandum of understanding to the judge, and it does mean that your case has settled.